Good evening. I'm Chanel Vilka, title expert and owner of Wisdom and Authority Title Solutions. Thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. Tonight, I will be continuing with the series Title and Register in Virginia. And tonight, I will be talking about a very interesting and favorite uh, topic of mine in the title process, and that is mechanic storage liens and abandoned vehicles as it pertains to the title process in Virginia. So again, that's going to be mechanic storage liens and abandoned vehicles as it pertains to the title process in Virginia. I will only share what pertains to Virginia. I would not cover any other state. So if you are watching this information here may not apply uh, to your state. So keep in mind Virginia only. Um, with that being said, I will cover what each one is. Uh, so I do want to share uh, the mechanic storage lane process and the abandoned vehicle process. They are not connected, but indeed they are separate, separate processes. So I will share each one individually. I will talk about what each process is, um, who qualifies, uh, who cannot use the process, um, and the intended outcome of each process uh, during the segment. So first of all, the mechanic storage lien process uh, applies to auto repair, vehicle storage, and tow companies, okay? You can be all of the above, you know, one out of the three or two out of the three, depending on your company, okay? But you must be an auto repair, auto storage, or tow company to use this process. If you are, an auto dealer okay if you are an auto dealer you cannot use this process at all unless uh, you have a uh, service uh, team uh, connected with your dealership then that service team uh, will have to go the uh, route of the mechanic storage lien uh, route okay so your service team uh, will have to qualify but if you are uh, an auto dealer and you want your title clerk uh, to file for a mechanic storage lien, she or he would not be able to do that. So please keep that in mind, okay? Uh, moving forward, with the mechanic storage lien process, there's normally going to be a repair ticket involved uh, due to the customer uh, bringing a vehicle in for repair storage. Uh, or a possible tow if that was also added on. So in the event the customer does not satisfy the bill in question, even if it's a diagnostic, uh, the repair company can uh, also uh, add storage fees uh, to that vehicle uh, repair ticket in question as well. Storage fees um, are charged per day uh, depending on the uh, mechanic storage lane company in question and can continue. So with the process, all parties on record and even a lien holder, if one is present, they are notified and they have a certain amount of time to come forward. Okay. And there's a process that you must comply with fully and the Virginia DMV will, uh, you know, verify this as well. Okay. So, uh, the process has to be very thorough, very accurate. It's not really a rapid process, uh, but you know you do have to follow the steps. And if anything is missed, uh, your transaction will be denied. The total outcome of the mechanic storage lien is to give you either uh, the compensation you are seeking, or you are going to get the title, assuming that you followed the steps. Uh, you know fully now keep in mind if you notify the lien holder if there is a lien on record you may not uh, or you're you may not be guaranteed to get the full compensation you are seeking so filing the mechanic storage lien in a timely manner is very important you know if you are uh, trying to get uh, the full amount I do want to also add that there's a uh, Virginia statutes as well that sometimes favor the lien holder. So that's another great area that uh, may stop you from getting the full compensation you're seeking. You'll get some monies, but not necessarily the full amount due to uh, the Virginia statutes as it pertains to 
uh, mechanic storage liens, okay? Um, now, you cannot use the mechanic storage lien process simply because you feel it is an easy method to take uh, because you don't have a title. Again, you have to qualify uh, based on the business practice that I shared uh, some moments ago. You have to qualify and the Virginia DMV knows that and they will verify uh, to make sure you are in fact qualifying accordingly. Um, next, in the area of abandoned vehicle title processing, under this filing method, you can be an individual or a business to file for this type of process. In the state of Virginia, a vehicle is considered abandoned if it's been left on property, private or commercial for over 48 hours, okay? Um, under this process, all parties on record, even if there's a lien, they are notified and they have uh, you know, a certain amount of time to come forward, okay? Under this process as well, DMV still reviews everything. You do have to, uh, you know, answer questions accordingly, and there's a process they review uh, to make sure that you are getting the title or complying with this process accordingly and in a legal fashion. They do double check all of this as well. Um, you cannot file for the abandoned vehicle process simply because you believe this method is also uh, easy or easier to obtain a title. You have to qualify, very important. Um, when it comes to the abandoned vehicle process, I wanna share that you are not, you are not guaranteed compensation under this method. The purpose of the abandoned vehicle process is to dispose or remove of the vehicle in question, or you can obtain the title, okay? So uh, when it comes to abandoned vehicles and mechanic storage liens, there are some differences. Uh, with the mechanic storage lien, there's a possibility that you could get you know, some compensation uh, with the abandoned vehicle process, you are not going to get compensation. Um, there is no tow or repair or storage ticket involved with this method. So you cannot uh, obtain or try to obtain uh, any type of compensation under, under this method here. Um, I do wanna share that when it comes to filing for mechanic storage lanes or abandoned vehicles, uh, the process can be lengthy depending on the type of research that is at hand due to the title record, due to the value of the vehicle, um, also due to the length of time you've had the vehicle, um, and also whether there's a lien on the record or whether the parties in question are in military uh, status or not. So keep in mind, these are uh, items that the DMV will be looking at in determining uh, whether you qualify to get the title uh, or compensation accordingly depending on which method you filed under. If you have any questions as it pertains to mechanic storage liens or abandoned vehicle filings in the state of Virginia, please visit me and my team at wisdomandauthority.com or drop me a line. Please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share, click, and subscribe below. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.